The cost of rental housing is rarely factored into monthly measures of economic health, but for New Jersey families earning up to $50,000 a year, paying the rent may mean paying for little else. Brianna Venosi found working people who must rely on charitable assistance while still chasing the dream. Every Wednesday, crates of bread get delivered to the Catholic Charities Office in Vineland, Cumberland County. And every Wednesday, the stream of people in need grows a little larger. It starts at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays, and sometimes by 2 o'clock we're out. There's less work, higher rent, you know, and people not being able to pay their bills. That's why a lot of people come into these places. The high cost of living is a concern throughout New Jersey. New data shows a third of all renters pay more than 50 percent of their income on housing alone. That means there's not much left for anything else. We see all walks of life. It could just be one little simple thing like a car broke down. Now you're in danger of being evicted. What do you do? Do you pay for your car repair, lose your uh, job because you can't get to your job or pay your rent. According to the new research, only Florida tops New Jersey for the number of renters spending half their income, while California and New York came in a close third. A separate study found that a renter in New Jersey needs to earn roughly $53,000 a year to afford the average market rate of $1,300 a month for a two-bedroom rental. Call the landlord as soon as they come in, make arrangements, a uh, promissory note, that kind of thing, and stop the eviction, get them housed in a matter of 24 hours. I had um, went out on disability, and that's where my disability and my rent there, it, it just it left like $50 for the month. So it, it was, it's impossible. Catholic Charities provides a number of social programs, including rental assistance and financial planning. Kristen Johnson says she and her two young children had nowhere else to turn. We do intensive case management where we come up with a plan for them. Um, we break it down, um, short-term goals, long-term goals, and, you know, try to get them to reach their goals. The caseworkers here aren't just providing rental assistance. Oftentimes they're working with families who have already lost their homes and they're out on the street. In the past year, we actually, as many as five people a week, maybe more, I'd say five people a week average. I've always been the type of person who takes care of herself and who's in control. So to come to, it's a humbling experience. This area of South Jersey is also seeing a lot of displaced casino workers come in for help. And with no economic relief in sight, Catholic Charities just hopes they'll be able to provide it. In Vineland, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.